Hello, welcome to my class. We are going to do twists, which are very good for the digestive system. They are good when they are, you are constipated, and they are also good for slimming the waist. And please do whatever you do, what you can do. Listen to your body and try to enjoy yourself, which is the most important part of it. Become at the top of the mat, inhale, lift the arms and exhale into forward fold, bend the knees if you need it and step the right foot back, release the back foot and put your hands on the thighs and breathe. And now we are going to twist, inhale, lift the arms up and twist to the left so the left hand can't be in chin mudra behind the back. Now inhale, come to the center, look up and exhale, hands to the floor into plank. And we come in one line to the floor, drop the knees if you need it. And now we are going to do cobra combined with a twist. So we inhale and we lift the right shoulder more than the left and exhale down and then you do the same thing with the left shoulder. We alternate lifting the right shoulder and left shoulders. It's a cobra combined with a twist. Inhale into the cobra with the twist and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Do a few like this. So lifting one shoulder more than the other. And now we come into down facing dog. Press the hands into the floor and lift those hips up. Bend the knees if you need it. And stretch that back. So the back should be straight in an inverted V. And now drop the knees into the floor and come into child's pose. Leave the elbows and forearms on the floor and rest for a few breaths in the on the floor. Come into all fours and tuck the toes under into down facing dog and lift the right leg up and exhale and bring the right foot forward and now we are going to clasp the fingers behind, index fingers are pointing down and open the chest, bring the shoulder blades together and breathe. Now come bring the hands to the floor and leave the left hand on the floor and Lift the right one into a twist to the right. So press the left hand into the floor. And now exhale, right hand down and bring the back foot to the front into forward fold. Inhale, come up, look up and exhale, relax the hands by the side of the body. We are going to do the other side. Inhale, lift the hands up, look up, gently arch the back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees if you need it. Inhale, gaze in pose, exhale, forward fold. And now inhale, left foot back, release the back foot and place the hands on the side and breathe. Inhale, lift the arms, look up, exhale, twist to the right. So now is the right hand could be in chin mudra, around, wrapping the waist, or it could be on top of the, of the thigh, on the back of the leg. And breathe. Breathe, inhale and exhale, slowly. Now inhale, come to the center, hands up, exhale, hands down, and come into 
into plank and now in one line to the floor you can drop the knees for this and now we are going to do again cobra with the twist inhale lift the right shoulder and then exhale down inhale left shoulder up and then exhale down alternate by lifting one shoulder more than the other combining this twist with cobra cobra with a twist and then we are going to come up into all fours and then down facing dog press the hands into the floor fingers are nicely spread and then we rest drop the knees open the knees wide and we rest in extended child's pose arms are extended in front of you and relax and breathe come up into all fours tuck the toes under and come into down facing dog lift the left foot up and when you exhale bring the left foot in between the hands and drop drop the right knee and interlace the fingers and again open the chest open the chest by showing by bring the shoulder blades together and breathe into the chest now bring the hands into the floor lift the knee and now we are going to twist to the left so you're pressing the right hand into the floor and opening the chest to the right so breathe into this twist now come bring the hand down and bring the back foot to the front into forward fold inhale swipe the arms up and exhale bring the hands into namaste in front of the chest and inhale and exhale relax the hands now we are going to do a balance shift the weight to the left foot and lift the right knee up and hold hold the the right knee and twist to the right and place the right hand on the waist and feel the twist coming from your waist look at one point behind you and now come to the center and bring the foot down and now shift the weight to the right leg and lift the left knee up now hold that knee and placing the left hand on the waist twist to the left and breathe breathe and now come to the center and drop the foot down now we come into chair pose so the arms are extended in front of you and bring the left elbow on top of the thigh make a fist with the left hand and place the right hand on top of the left and twist from the waist to the right and breathe then you come to the center into chair pose again arms are extended place the right elbow in front of the thigh and to make a fist with the left hand and place the, the, with the right hand and place the left hand on top and twist on the waist and then come to center into chair pose and relax the hands by the side of the body now you will need some blocks or maybe several books now inhale and exhale into Uttanasana keep 
we stay halfway actually in case in pose and place both hands on top of the books so the back is straight and bend the right knee and twist to the left the right hand stays on the books and the left hand is extended up and now bring the hand down lengthen the spine lengthen and now bend the left knee place the right hand on the lower back to lengthen and then twist twist to the right and extend the right arm up bring the hand down and again lengthen lengthen the spine and now we are going to repeat you can repeat it with the same number of blocks or books or you can try with fewer books or with nothing see what is good for your body listen to your body so the right hand is on the blocks or the floor and you bend the right knee and you twist to the left and breathe Then you come to the center, lengthen the spine, lengthen the spine, gaze in pose, we are on our fingertips, and exhale down. Now the left hand is on the floor, the left knee is bent, put the right hand on the lower back, lengthen, and then twist to the right, extending the right arm up. And breathe. Bring the hand down and now come into gazing pose, inhale and exhale, come into forward fold. So we are on our fingertips or if you cannot reach the floor, you can always put the hands on the shins or on the thighs. Now we are going to come up, inhale, come up, the right knee up and when you exhale bring the right foot down, we are stay on the toes into Exultant Warrior, so this is a kind of balance, so keeping the balance you place the elbow on the outside of the thigh and making a fist as we did before and placing the left hand on top of the fist twist to the left. You can always drop the back knee if you need it. And now come to the center and come into down facing dog. And breathe into dog. Always check your fingers if they are nicely spread. Bend the knees if you need it and now walk the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale up and exhale, relax the hands by the side of the body and we are going to do the other side. Shift the weight to the right and lift the left leg up and you bring the left foot back and you balance on the toes of the left foot into Exultant Warrior. And we are going to place the left elbow on the outside of the thighs and make a fist with the left hand and place the right hand on top of the left and twist to the left. You can always drop the back knee if you like and breathe here now put the hands onto the floor and come into down facing dog breathe into dog press the hands into the floor and lift the hips and then we walk the feet to the front of the mat 
and now we come up, inhale up and exhale, relax the hands by the side of the body. Very good, we are doing very well. So now, feet are parallel and wide apart. We lift the chest, extend the spine and when we exhale, we come halfway so the torso is parallel to the floor. You can move the hips if you like. And now inhale up, lengthen the spine again. And exhale halfway. And now extend the arms wide. Feel the chest opening and feel the stretch on the back of the legs. And come up. Inhale, lengthen. And we exhale. We are coming, we fold again halfway extending the arms wide and now we are going to twist to the right and bring the left hand into the shin or to the thigh and try to bring the torso close to the leg it doesn't have to come uh, close if it doesn't come close it doesn't matter just be happy where you are so stay and breathe So the, we always fold from the hip, not from the upper back. Then you come up in the same way you we reverse the order. And now we are going to do the other side. Inhale and exhale halfway. And then the arms are wide. Twist to the left twist to the left, bring the left foot close to the shin and try to fold towards the left leg. Fold from the hips, not from the middle back or upper back. If this is too much, you can always keep the arms extended halfway with the hands on top of the shins or of the thighs. And now come up halfway with the arms wide come to center and then up and relax very good bring the feet together and we are going to do a back bend interlace the fingers behind you index fingers pointing down and bend Lengthen the tailbone down and do the back bend by lifting the chest up. So now we are going to do the same balance we did before. So it's always easier to balance on the floor. Shift the weight to the left leg now and lift the right knee up and twist to the right. Keep the left hand. Keep the left hand holding the knee and the right hand is on top of the waist and twist from the waist and breathe now come to center and drop the foot and we do the other side so shift the weight to the right leg and lift the left knee up and we twist to the left place the left hand on top of the waist right hand is holding the knee and lengthen and twist lengthen the spine and then you twist drop come to center and bring the foot down and now repeat the same thing we did before or we can do this variation so we bring the the, the knee up and then hold the foot with the right hand and then you try to extend the leg if you cannot extend the leg it doesn't matter leave, leave it bent or repeat the first option what we did before if you can do it if you can extend the leg or, or leave it halfway balance by extending the other arm back then you come to the center and very slowly bring the leg down and we do the other side 
you shift the weight to the left leg lift the right knee up hold the right foot and extend as much as you can extend the leg the right leg and twist then to the right and then extend also the the right arm and you can uh, put the hand in chin yoga keep the eyes on one point and then come to the center and with control you bring the leg down very good so now we are going to place the left foot 45 degrees behind the right one and the, the hips are square to the front and come into gazing pose the hands are on the thigh and then come up now we repeat hips squared but now the left hand is is on the right thigh and we do the twist we do a twist to we twist to the right so and now come up that was was option one of the revolver triangle so now you can use blocks or repeat the first thing we did so we are going to place the left hand on top of the blocks and we twist to the right twist from the waist extend that right arm up and feel the twist the twist is always from the waist and then bring the hand down and then you can repeat any of the previous options or try this one putting the hand on the outside of the foot or on the inside i'm putting it on the outside of the foot it's more difficult on the outside what i'm doing so you it's more difficult to balance this is also a kind of balance so you twist now to the right and lengthen the spine now you come down and very slowly you come up very slowly so you don't get dizzy and bring the feet together and we are going now to do a back bend again play the hands on the lower back so tailbone down and lift the chest imagine you have eyes on top of the chest and you try to look with those eyes to the ceiling do it again fingers could be pointing down or up play a bit with fingers see what is more comfortable for you so, and you try to bring the shoulder blades together and now we do the other side so the right foot is 45 degrees behind the left at some distance square the, the hips to the front and place the hands on the thigh so you're lengthening the spine and looking forward lengthen the spine you're still feeling the stretch on the legs and now come up and now we place the right hand on the thigh and twist to the left leave the left hand on the waist or on the hips twist lengthen and twist and now come to the center hands on the hips inhale and when you exhale you come down so you do the variation that is good for you and maybe you have to do again what we did before or you use blocks putting the hand on the inside of the foot or on the outside see what is good for you what is good for your body your spine should always be straight you lengthen the spine and then you exhale into the twist twisting from the waist the spine should be straight if the spine is not straight then you have to go back to option one the thigh or option two blocks 
or option three, no blocks but the hand on the other side of the foot. And now inhale, come up very slowly, not to get dizzy. And we come to the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, gaze in pose, exhale, forward fold again. Now bend the knees if you need it, and then bring one foot and then the other back into plank. A strong, nice plank. Coming one line to the floor. Now inhale into Cobra and exhale down. Inhale Cobra again, exhale down. Inhale Cobra, exhale down. Inhale Cobra and now come up into all fours and relax into child's pose. A close child's pose if you can with the arms by the side of the body. Relax and come up and now we are going to lie down on the floor, come down vertebra by vertebra to the floor, bring the feet close to the sit bones, they are hip distance apart and we are going to do bridge. So you lift the hips, then the lower back, the back and upper back, press the feet into the floor and use the thighs and the glutes. You bring the chest up, then now bring all down vertebra by vertebra and massage your lower back by bringing the knees to the chest and now we do another twist drop the knees to the left and extend those arms wide at shoulder level and look to the right now bring the knees to the center drop the knees to the right and look to the left breathe into this twist now bring the knees to the center relax the feet down and now we are going to bring the hands under the knees and rock back and forth this is a very nice massage to the back rock back and forth several times last time you can stay there. Now you can combine this class with any of my classes or do a relaxation. Thank you very much for doing this class with me and see you next time.